Good morning. It is Tuesday, May 5th. And this week we are learning about birds. We'll start with our calendar songs. Ready for days of the week? Hoy es martes, or Tuesday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Domingo, lunes, martes, miércoles, jueves, viernes, sábado. And we're in the month of May now. January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. And what season are we in? Spring. And it's gotten a lot warmer in the past few days, hasn't it? I love this weather. Winter, spring, summer, fall. These are our four seasons. Every year we have them all. Winter, spring, summer, fall. Yesterday, I taught you a new poem about a little bird. We tried to see it, but it flew away. Would you like to join me this time? Have your bird ready. I saw a little bird come hop, hop, hop. So I said, little bird, will you stop, stop, stop? I was going to the window to say, hi, how are you? But she gave her wings a flap and up, up, up she flew. Ooh, it just got windy here. Is it windy at your house today? Now, the next thing, I showed you yesterday was some birds, some backyard birds. I'm going to see which ones you remember. All right, so what's that? Cardinal, bright red, okay. Morning dove. Black-capped chickadee. Goldfinch. House sparrow, house finch, there's the Baltimore Oriole that came all the way from the rainforest. Here's the catbird that sometimes says, meow. It's a funny sound for a bird to make. Here is the blue jay. It says, jay, jay. Here is a downy woodpecker. Sometimes you can hear them drumming on the tree. Here is a grackle. They're really sparkly in the sunshine. Here is the killdeer. Did you remember many of those? All right, now yesterday we flapped our wings when we were practicing the names of the birds. But today we are going to do a little bird beak. Can you do that? Try it now. All right, so first we're going to be looking for the catbird. You say catbird? So anytime you see the catbird, you're gonna go, catbird, catbird. Ready? All right, so there it is. What do you say? Catbird. Is that a catbird? No. Is that a catbird? Is that a catbird? Catbird, catbird. No, that's a sparrow. Catbird. No. Catbird. I like how they're so a really pretty gray color and they have that little black cap on their head. All right, now we're gonna listen for the Oriole. All right, so when we say or when you see the Oriole, you're gonna go Oriole, Oriole. Got it. All right. Oriole. That's the catbird. Oriole. No. No. Oriole. All right, let's see here. Two more. Oh, the house finch. I like house finches. They're pretty slender. They're a little bit skinnier than the sparrows, and they have a little bit of red. The females have a tiny bit of red. 
they're mostly brown and the, ma and the uh, males have more red on their heads. I used to say, house finch, house finch. That's the oriole. That's the catbird. That's the sparrow. Oh, here it is, house finch. No. House finch. Oriole. House finch. All right, last one for today is the sparrow. This is a house sparrow, but there's lots of different kinds of sparrows. We'll just say sparrow, sparrow. Sparrow. There's the house finch. There's the oriole. There's the catbird. Here it is, sparrow. No. Sparrow. All right. Tomorrow we will practice a few new birds. And by the end of the week, maybe you'll know all of these birds. Won't that be cool? And then when you see them, you'll know what their name is. All right. Now, what? how do we know that all of those are birds? They all look different. They're different colors. But what are some of the things that they all have the same? Here's one clue. All birds have a beak. So let's look here. This is a, our puzzle. Hey, what kind of bird does that look like? Does that remind you of the goldfinch? Let's see. It looks like a goldfinch, doesn't it? All right, so all birds have a beak on their head. That's their mouth. All birds have wings. Although not all of them can fly, they all have wings. And they all have, you know what they have covering their body? All birds have feathers. This is the body of the bird. Here's its tail. And then all birds have how many legs? Two legs. And you can see its feet and its claws. And what do you notice inside the bird? You see its skeleton? And look right there is its spine. So all birds are vertebrates. They have a spine, a backbone, and they have bones on the inside. All right, so we'll put this back there. There's its two legs and its claws. Here's its body, its tail, its wings. They all have two wings and its head that has its beak. So beak, two legs, wing, and feathers are the things that tell us it's a bird. And they lay eggs. But we'll be talking more about their eggs maybe tomorrow. All right, so one more thing I want to show you. Do you notice what's growing here behind me? These are ferns. And I showed them to you a few weeks ago when they were really small and still curled up in their little fiddlehead. Do you remember that? They've grown a lot. And something else started growing. This flower is called Lily of the Valley. And it has these beautiful little flowers that look like kind of like bells on the stalk. I love all the flowers in springtime. Now, two things that you can do today if you're interested. I made a little video showing you how you can try to draw a bird. We'll make sure it has its beak, and its wings and its two legs. And there's a way that you can draw a bird that's pretty easy. And so the other thing I want you to try out is this week our school is having a jump-a-thon and we're gonna see how many jumps all the kids and teachers in the whole school can do. And we want you to be part of it and see how many jumps our school can do. So I will send you information about that too. All right, have a great Tuesday.